Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and in this video we are going to take a look at Garuda Linux which is an Arch based Linux distro from India. Now Garuda project started in 2010 and over the years it has established itself as one of the best Linux distro coming from India. And many viewers of my channel have asked me to review this distro. So without further ado, let's check out Garuda Linux. Alright, Garuda Linux is an Arch based distro that comes with a pre-installed GUI desktop. And like many other Arch based distro, the goal is to provide you the Arch experience without the hassle of setting up everything via command line and spending hours on proper installation. Now Garuda Linux follows a rolling release model, so there's no fixed version releases. The distro is updated constantly. Hence, it's a bleeding edge distro where you get instant updates as and when it is released from the upstream. Now to get Garuda Linux, the website is garudalinux.org. Garuda Linux comes in 12 different desktop variants. So desktop wise, you get a lot of options. The only popular desktop that is missing from the list is Dipin desktop. But if you're looking for a pretty looking desktop, Garuda KDE with dragonized theme is a great option. And this is what we are going to download and review since it's the first in the list and I think it's the primary Garuda flavor. The minimum system requirement to run Garuda Linux is 30 gigs of hard disk and 4 GB of RAM though 8 gigs is recommended for a smoother experience. I'm testing it on a Core i7 10th generation Intel processor with 16 gigs of RAM and RTX 2060 graphic card. The installation image size is 2.3 gigs. Once you boot through the IUSA image, you get to the live desktop. The Garuda Linux installation is handled by customized version of Calamari's installer. The installation process is the standard Linux install where you enter details like language, date and time, partition where you want to install Linux and login account details. The entire installation takes around 10 minutes. After the installation and first reboot you get to this login screen which looks very modern and gives a gaming PC like vibe. Alright once you get to the desktop on first boot you get option to start setup assistant. Setup assistant lets you do few important initial system setup like updating mirror list, checking for system updates and an option to upgrade to Garuda Ultimate Edition. Now the Ultimate Edition gives you some additional softwares like Office Suite, extra browsers, email client, social networking apps and other softwares. You can launch the setup assistant later as well from Garuda's welcome app. Now this is the welcome app and it lists important softwares and tools available in Garuda Linux. The important ones here are the Garuda's own softwares which are these five at the top. Now these softwares make this distro special. We'll get to these in detail in a bit but first let's check out the desktop. Alright so this is the desktop of Garuda KDE and right off the bat I have to say that as far as the looks is considered I'm really impressed. It's a great looking desktop and I would say it's right up there with the likes of Dipin or Elementary's Pantheon desktop which I think are the most beautiful desktops in Linux. Now under the hood it is the latest Plasma desktop version 5.20.5 .5, running on Linux kernel 5.10.14 but you can see that it doesn't resemble to plain Plasma desktop. It is heavily themed version. The toolbar is at the top and there is a dock at the bottom. Now this layout is a signature of GNOME desktop. There are certain design features that makes this desktop unique and special. First, it has this translucent background for menus and also for windows when you try to move an open window. There is also a subtle squishy and wobbly animation when you move an open window which is very smooth and looks really nice. The desktop also has a transparent dock at the bottom. Now it is latte dock and the transparent background of the dock makes the icons appear like they're floating over the desktop. The bare bone minimal icon theme also adds to this look. Now there's also a zoom animation when you move the cursor over the dock similar to Mac OS. Overall the dock looks very stylish and modern. Now the bottom panel that you see in plain KDE desktop is moved to the top here. The rest of the things like start menu, system tray, etc. remains the same. So all the new changes released in the latest version of Plasma desktop is available in Garuda as well. Now by default the desktop has a dark theme. Now this theme is called Sweetified Plasma. It's a great looking theme and for people who like dark desktop they will appreciate this look. However for those of you who are not a fan of dark desktop there is no light version of this theme. And the only option available is to go with KDE's default breeze light theme. 
but this will bring a lot of inconsistencies all over the desktop and therefore I don't recommend it. So the only option is to download a bright theme from the internet which again may not work as great as this default theme. The other subtle design animation that I think looks really nice is this alt tab animation for toggling through open windows. This carousel display of open windows is not there in many other Linux distros and I think it looks really nice here. Now since it's a KDE desktop, all the latest KDE features are available here. You have KRunner for easy desktop search. The status and notification menu at the system tray has all the latest features. KDE widgets, activities, all are available. I'm not going to go in detail on these features. If you want to know more about KDE Plasma desktop, you can check out my earlier videos on KDE. All right, now let's talk about the core of the system, which is the softwares. Now Garuda Linux uses the Arch repo and you can check out all the repos from the Pace app in Garuda Linux. It is a very handy and useful app. By default, the active repos are the main Arch repos, Core, Extra and Community. Multilib is also available for 32-bit softwares. Apart from these, there is one more repo that is turned on and that is Chaotic AUR. Now this is an unofficial Arch repo and is not considered as safe. In fact, one of the main maintainer of the repo who goes by the name Pedro HLC himself has replied on Reddit stating that it is not a safe repo to use. So if you plan to use this distro as your daily driver or security is your main priority, then you might want to turn this repo off. Note that this will make some of the packages unavailable. Now there are over 13,000 plus packages available in these repos to download. The default installation gives you basic set of pre-installed KDE apps, but there's no office suite or email client. You do get the option to install these apps if you choose to upgrade to Ultimate Edition, or you can also download using the package manager. The software manager is Pacman, which is the default software manager for Arch Linux. There is also a GUI front end called Pacman, which allows you to install apps with a single click. Now the default terminal in Garuda Linux is Alacrity. This is a fairly new terminal emulator. It is a fast cross-platform OpenGL emulator and the last bit is its speciality. It is a GPU accelerated terminal emulator which is supposed to render the output faster but it is still in beta stage though it is widely used by many enthusiasts around the world but the final release is yet to come. Now apart from the standard apps, Garuda also has its own set of apps which lets you manage different settings of the operating system and are very useful. First app is called Garuda Assistant, which contains system maintenance settings, option to enable or disable various different services and system components, B3 file system customization, and few other system settings. It's kind of one-stop shop that lets you change various different settings conveniently with single click. The next app is Garuda Settings Manager. Here you get option to install or modify drivers for your hardware, like your network card or graphic card. Many people find it difficult to manually install Linux drivers and this app can be super useful. It lets you install drivers in a GUI environment. On my test machine, it has automatically installed drivers for my network card and the RTX 2060 graphic card. There is an option to auto install drivers and you can also choose if you want to go with open source or proprietary drivers. There's also kernel settings. Here you can change the Linux kernel you want from list of kernels available. There's also language settings and some other common system settings available. Garuda Linux is also targeting gaming enthusiasts who wants to use Linux distro for gaming. Now Garuda Gamer app is again a one-stop shop for all the gaming related settings, tools, emulators, etc. You can install popular gaming app like Steam, play on Linux or use Vine which is used to play Windows games on Linux. Now there's also host of emulators available. For example, if you want to play old Atari games, you can install Hatari emulator and use game image to run Atari games. Now this app makes gaming on Linux really simple and easy. Next is Garuda Network Assistant, which is an advanced network manager that gives you more control over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth devices and also provide handy trace route and ping option for quick network troubleshooting. Now the last is Garuda Boot Options, which lets you customize boot screen by changing settings like boot 
options, background, time countdown, etc. Now, these were few important Garuda apps that lets you manage the operating system efficiently. All right, now, as far as the system performance is considered, I have been testing the distro over a week now, and I found the desktop operation very quick and pretty smooth. There are modern features like translucency and Windows animation, but they are not that heavy, and I did not notice any hiccups. On idle, the RAM usage that I was getting is around 1.2 gigs, which is not bad at all considering all the modern visual design elements. At last, let's talk about the support available. Garuda Linux has a simple website. There is a wiki page with instructions on installation, general usage, maintenance and customization, but it is very limited. There is an official forum which has around 1400 plus registered users. It is an actively managed forum and you get quick responses to your queries. Garuda team is also available on Telegram and other social media apps. So support wise, you can expect quick resolution. All right, so that was all for today. Now my final verdict. Garuda is an excellent Arch based distro that provides a great out of the box experience. The major plus for this distro is stunning desktop, quick updates, excellent gaming support, relatively light on hardware and the Garuda set of apps for easy management. I think it check all the boxes for a great desktop operating system. There are almost no major issues and if I have to be very picky then I think the lack of light desktop theme could be an issue for some people and the use of chaotic AUR. This is where one needs to be a little careful, especially if you are planning to use it as your daily driver. But if you are an enthusiast and want to get the latest bleeding edge technology, Garuda Linux is an excellent choice for you. Alright, so that was all for today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or feedback, do type that in the comment box. A huge shout out to all the subscribers of XPS Tech channel. Thank you for supporting me. Alright, so thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.